And in this problem, we're told that a barrel of oil is cylindrical in shape with a radius of 0.292 uh, meters. Filled with oil, it has a mass of 198 kilograms. And these are actual numbers. This is your standard cylindrical metal barrel. Think of a large metal drum. And it's filled with oil, and we're given the radius, 0.292 meters, and the mass, filled with oil, 198 kilograms. So find the weight of one barrel of oil in newtons. Okay, that's pretty easy. Weight is mass times g, and we know g. g is 9.8. That's the constant, the acceleration due to gravity. So we just multiply 198 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. And 198 times 9.8 gives us 1,940.4. And we have kilograms times meters per second squared, which is a newton. So 1,940.4 newtons is the weight of one barrel of oil. That's how much downward force there is due to gravity. And then we're told to find the area of the bottom of the barrel. So if, if you imagine this circle, okay, it's that area. So that's the area of a circle. And the formula for the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. And the radius here is given. And pi, we know, is 3.14. So it's 3.14 times 0.292 squared. And the 0.292 is squared. The pi is not. So this is pi times this number squared. And that all works out to 0.268 square meters. And then find the pressure that a barrel of oil exerts on the floor. So this is resting on the floor. The weight of the barrel is spread out over this area. So we find the pressure that it exerts. Pressure is force divided by area. And we have these numbers. That's this force divided by this area. So 1,940.4 newtons divided by 0.268 square meters. That will be newtons per square meter. And 1,940.4 divided by 0.268 works out to 7,240. And newtons per square meters is pascals. So 7,240 pascals.